Okay, so here's your float. This is the float for a sump pump, basically. And this would plug into the wall. Your pump would plug into here. And so this, this uh, is the float switch, basically. It has basically become dysfunctional. Now, we can rebuild these. Um, basically, if you take a look at it, you see there's like a little ball in there. When this, when this, uh, uh, when you set this down at the bottom of your sump, what happens is this is full of air. So this will eventually turn upside down. And when it turns upside down, um, then it makes contact with these points. There's uh, two sets of points here. And these points have become foul, basically. And you could take a little uh, emery board or some fine uh, uh, sandpaper and clean these up and see if we can align this at any, in any way and bring this back to life. And then we can put it back in together and then clean these edges up real good and use some E6000 um, or Gorilla Glue, the, the, uh, the gel style Gorilla Glue, um, and then glue this all back together. Okay, so I have some 400 grit. You can go wet or dry. You can go. The thing is, when you wet this, it, it softens it up a little bit and it's not so abrasive. That might be the best thing to do because I heard there may be some particular coating on this. And uh, we don't want to disturb it too much. We just want to basically clean any of the major pits off. And so if you get your little meter out, uh, this will show if you have continuity between these ter terminals here. So if you look at them, I've cleaned it up quite a bit. The points are pretty clean. So it's closed right now. So basically all we have to do is check for continuity across here. So it's not showing continuity right now. If I press this down a little bit, I could stretch that spring out inside there. Um, and I can try and clean it up one more time. So if you go here, it should show continuity there, but it's not. But if we push this down a little bit, no, it's not. It's, it's not working really well. Should show, you should show continuity here. So I think what we need to do is we need to try and stretch that little spring out so it has a little more pressure on it and see what we can do. This little spring in here maybe, stretch it out a little bit and or clean these up just a little bit more. Uh, make sure they're not loose on the whatever frame okay here's that spring that spring is what roughly not quite the size of that prong there and we're gonna stretch it out I'm just gonna take and stretch it apart with my fingers and then put it back in there there's just just that one little those two little tits in there that uh, hold it in place you can see I've got them pretty clean, but they don't, uh, they don't quite make good contact unless I push it down by hand. So we're gonna stretch the little spring out and uh, see if I can move it or something. Okay, it's working now. So this whole black lever thing and the spring, that spring there, I stretched it out as long as this little thing right here. And stuff it back in there. It's got more pressure on it now. You can take this spring off and pull that black thing out and uh, access those points a lot easier and buff them out. So I got continu continuity on it now. And so all I need to do is basically clean it up and glue it back together. Let's see if I can do this. One hand. There it is. Okay, it's gonna work now. I just need to glue it back together so it's watertight. Okay, there it is. This is the glue that I used. Uh, 
This is similar to E6000. What is this contact adhesive? Gorilla Glue contact ad adhesive. Um, and so I put, I put some tape around it just to hold the, kind of clamp it in place. You can see I've got it uh, pretty well filled up. I'm gonna give it another coat. As soon as, I, as soon as this dries, what I'll do is I'll take that tape loose and put another coat around it just to make sure.